Welcome learners. My name is Sanjeev Kapoor and I am in this event industry from past 17 plus years. I have an experience of handling corporate events, social events, government events, award events, product launches etc. And uh, I believe I have a experience of handling and submitting the event bids also. So, as today's topic is in this session, you are about to learn components and criteria for winning bids and what is the meant by bidding for event. Please note all concept and event creative right reserve with Scorpio events. The visual you are seeing are confidential. Kindly do not share with anyone without a, without a written letter from the company. So Scorpio event in short is the corporate event specialist. What we do? We achieve goal and we create wonders. We are doers, planners and magician because we turn what if, if only I wish into the reality. We conceptualize idea, we create content, use latest technology, do flawless production and execute event. We have an expert, a commando, even commandos team uh, in the Scorpio event. Approximately we are 25, 25 plus experts and myself is having 17 plus year event industry experience. Our strength is not as a supplier. We call us as a event partners. We have a powerful local and global networks. networks. <clears throat> we have a trusted allies of top corporates and consistent business and record from the client satisfaction. What we deliver? Stylish, professionally managed event. As I mentioned, our experience of handling FMCG, corporate, government uh, sector events from past 17 plus years. And our specialities, not only handling corporate event and mice of any scale in any destination, even we have experiential activation experience, we handle ex experiential activation events, either the BTL, ATL, college, school, residential welfare associations even, exhibitions which is from designing to deliver their stalls, awards and ceremonies, celebrations, product launches and branding content. We do this and more from even conceptualization to designing to license work, to database management, to transportation of the delegates, of the speakers, 2D, 3D design, uh, outside catering base, uh, catering events, we do travel management, invitations. We work with the global corporates, I mean, see companies, few hours here. Would like to show you our some of our prestigious work. Oppo F1 to F7 in Karnataka is handled by Scorpio Events. Fiki is our 12 plus year client. Canon, Palila Palace Hotels. There are a panel of uh, most most of the five star hotels, Sakara Hospital. Ah, yeah, this particular event was 
happen in my initial learning stage in 2001 where i got a privilege to handle the prediction part of that time prime minister late prime minister mr atal bihari vajpayee and i again got honored and privileged to handle first pravasi bharatiya divas in delhi which was happened on 9 to 11 january in 2003 in vigyan bhavan here i got an experience of handling 5000 plus nri delegates and top ceos so my start happens with the bidding of the event this type of event government event which i have showed you in a past is all the process is go with the bidding process only the backdrop design whatever you are seeing is designed by my company i got again privilege to host the production pass and logistic details of pm modi uh, bangalore visit you can see the technology that uh, teleprompter we have plays in front of him where he is reading the presentation love to show you in initial days i got a chance to handle press meet of mr bill clinton in morey sheraton bangalore so morey sheraton in delhi sorry chandra babu naidu in bangalore chief minister that time chief minister of karnataka past chief minister hd kumar swami few japanese delegates and our first citizen of karnataka mr aju bhai shah in silk board event which was again uh, the participated by 32 countries and it was a very tough bidding process and it's a five days event to host uh, some uh, 600 plus delegates uh, to take care of their logistics hotels flights or sightseeing etc in bangalore in karnataka so it's a big event big size in the event and a very tough bidding process celebrities dance performances our company got privilege to part of the bidding process where we got a partly winning of the make in india event in bangalore you can see the production pass where we have put it 100 feet long truss is the design of huawei event which we executed in 2017 so now coming back to the today's topic what is the mean by bidding for event we called it bid proposal pitch i can say bid we mean it out as a auction or a gambling or whatever but in the corporate in the government sector it is called bid which has a proposal and pitch documentation so what is the mean by bidding for an event in my vision it's difficult the process is like tracking the top of mount everest Researching and creating a bid proposal is not an easy task. It takes time. It takes efforts. You have to have a vision for that. Detailed. God is in the details. One missed detail, and it might spell the difference to profitability, profitability, or success of the event. actually the first thing is the event organizer winning the bid creative process very important bidding is a creative process you must have a vision to see the end of the tunnel you must have a laser eye to see what will happen to the event from start to finish it's very important team efforts no bit is an island it's a by product or of collaboration it is a handmade of a lot of people it's a completely team efforts 
क्लाउड नाइन क्लाउड नाइन विनिंग अ बेट इज लाइक बी प्लेस्ड इन क्लाउड नाइन द प्रोसेस इट टुक टू क्रिएट द बेट प्रेजेंट द बेट एंड विन द बेट इज लॉन्ग एंड वाइंडिंग एंड विनिंग इट इज अ स्पेक्टेक्युलर मूवमेंट दैट ऑल इवेंट ऑर्गेनाइजर विल ऑलवेज वॉन्ट टू अंडर गो विनिंग प्रोसेस एवरी इवेंट मैनेजर वॉन्ट टू गो अंडर गो बट पिचिंग एंड मेकिंग अ कॉन्सेप्ट इट टेक हेल्प हेल्प ऑफ योर टाइम टू बी ऑनेस्ट टू बिकम अ सक्सेसफुल इवेंट मैनेजर a basic knowledge of making proposal through bidding is essential few of the event manager don't know how to make a proposal and they work in the event management company as a production manager or production executive or client servicing executive but literally learners if you want to become an entrepreneur or you want to start your event business for any successful event manager making a proposal is necessary so what is the mean by bidding for an event from the corporate angle any corporate organization or a government representative body is responsible for the challenging task of selecting the event management company or a professional event organizers organizers and it will ask every eligible event management organization please note it is they will try to get the proposal from every eligible event management organization which comes in their radar to produce a proposal with detail as to how they will organize and stage the event This process of supplying a proposal is referred to as a bid process, and by this way, our organizers, our organizing committee member, able to get lots of idea how they can handle that event, how will they execute that event, what price they can go to do that, and with the help of that, they can make the budgets. After understanding this topic, you should be able to learn, understand the process of bidding. identify the key component of successful bids is very important you have to understand key component of successful bids and determine the critical factor in the winning of bids to so before we start let me update you what is the bid process how do we start bid process bid process start with the formation of a bid committee it's at the organizers end they will form form the bid committee with the 2 3 4 5 members who are responsible to make the rfq or the preparation of bid documentation once they prepare the bid documentation they will circulate that to their uh, eligible event management company through media or through uh, digital emails way and even management company need to revert with their ideas and proposal and creativity in the particular deadline and time to the organizers the organizers take some time to analyze the bid documentation get the ideas budgets and on particular day or date they announce the winning bid a winning even management company who win the bid after that actual work start which is even preparation or you can say pre event work start where the event management company has to execute his idea content technology and the production before the event they make it all in place and on site they deliver the fantastic even a flawless event after the event the event management company is responsible to make the post even analysis it's very important uh, factor over here because few even management companies don't follow that but major respected even management company a reputed even management company 
know that this is a very important factor and they do this they do this now again in the bed what is the key component of successful bid if you understand this successful bid components actually may you will get the answer of criticalness also so please give little concentration when you are bidding for project you will obviously want to maximize your chance of winning bids after all the more bids you win the more your business will grow it's a crucial to master the art of constructing the bidding so now successful bid has a component called understand the project with size and value understand the project size in this current technology time we can analyze with the software there is few softwares are available where we can take the software helps or i can say utilizing cost management software can go a long way towards helping you uh, generate better cost estimates by using software you will be able to compile information from a variety of sources which will help you generate a more accurate bid aside from a price estimate you will need to include a scope of work is very important by using a construction management software or a crm or a, a creative uh, adobe a coral draw kind of a software you will be able to give a closer estimate and timeline to the amount of work and project is going to require without that you can't you can't estimate that so in my vision overall using the right software will give you the most accurate accurate representation and price of the project and that will help you to submit a winning bid know your client you will also need to know your client after all they are the one who are going to be uh, reading your proposal and adding information uh, any uh, any added information you have on your client is will be an asset it can also be valuable to understand the past project they have accepted as this will give you a better idea of what they are most interested in approving just do little r and d on your client have they this type of even they have done in past what was the pros and con what was the liking disliking they got who done that why they are not doing with them why they are doing with you this is little research on your client is very important not in the bidding process also each and every place so but in bidding it is very important it give lots of uh, ideas and the information there have knowledge of the bidding process once you have been selected to place a bid there are still a few thing you will want to keep in mind in fact there are few reason you may know you may not want to bid in the first place for instance you want to ensure you you do a site visit and take note of any existing issue that may take the project more difficult than imagine must do this must do a site visit if it's possible if possible you may e uh, you may even want uh, you may even invite your client to the site to understand his uh, vision over there and this way you will be able to imagine what is client liking at this site and to uh, again by taking time to get a deep understanding of the project you will make sure to avoid any red flag that could turn up so friends this is a very important factor that you have to have a knowledge of the site be aware of the market and local regulations if you are doing event in outside of your locality or state and country it's very important before you submit your bid you will want to take your time to research you have to take your time to research 
any local regulation or any legal issue that might arise during this project especially if you are bidding on a project that is outside of your state or country the last thing you want to do is place a bid that end up bringing up a legal issue if this occur there is a good chance that client will throw out your bid right away so please be get familiar with the local regulation regulations and again most important part know your current workload when you are bidding a project you will want to make sure you actually have the time to take on the project of that size and scope even if the if, if the project is extremely lucrative and you simply may not have the resources available to pull off that project in timely manner if accepted you will be in trouble if you take that so before accepting any bids make sure you have a thorough understanding of your current workload and project completion time you can't take a project of we will build a taj mahal in 5 days you can't once again having the right project management tools or software can help you to ensure your projects are getting completed in an efficient time manner there are lots of uh, tools are available as i keep mentioning even management has a lots of software available as you know bidding can be a complex process but by keeping the above in mind you will be able to increase your chances of winning bid again i am saying it increase your chances of winning bid critical factor in the winning of bids is actually may if you having a more chances of winning bid then critical factor you just need to take care of that that you must have a strong team trusted partners partners means your suppliers your logistic suppliers you must have excellent presentation and keep in mind when you are when you are making a bid and you are when you are filling a bid online or offline treating that is a you are filling it first time to so give time to that bid now i would like to show you how the real real bidding documents comes to us so this is a confidential information but i am sharing with you because it is in 2007 when hp has floated the uh, rfq on bid for the 6 month contract to handle their trade show and event in india and outside india if the country or if the if the event management company has the capabilities of handling their asia pacific event asia based event so you can see it is start with the statement of confidentiality it's a long very uh, very long uh, rfq it's approximately 20 pages but i'll take you a little faster over here it look like a book only we call it a bible rfq bible which is having the from general uh, general information and introduction to the deliverables what we have to deliver and each and every page need to be each and every page need to be thoroughly read and make the proposals so in the first the hp define about himself what is in this proposal why the what is the hp worth 1.2 you can see scope and scale of the opportunities if you are able to win the project you will be come on the panel for the 6 month you will going to handle all the hp events the restriction on the contract means that you have to interact with this two people only not everyone in hp so the confidentiality has to be maintained deadline you can see but they have mentioned schedule for the events of the submission of rfq the date the rfq release was 11 july 2007 and the contract award date by 30th july so they take almost 19 days almost 10 to 12 working days to decide which company can handle their event in this 20 to 12 working days all eligible event management company are need to submit their design their creative uh, their concepts to the client so that they can take they can decide who is the winning event management company can take care of that 
not only that they do little uh, they want little more information about the before they giving you before they award you for the event bit or event they take your all legal uh, details are you registered with government of india who is the second uh, command leader after you are you a partnership company or private limited company the few informations are here you can see and the most important information the confidential information they also take from us they want minimum two of our current customer details with their name their phone number uh, their address and the revenue we generate from them it's very difficult to basically uh, disclose this information to any event manager but to uh, get a honest or to fill the honest rfq and you have to be honest with the rfq it is need to be give because they will they the 90% case is they give a call to the client and they check it out whether you are you are a honest event management company successful event management company or what they give you the detail how you can submit for the proposal some right and wrong answers in this proposal most of the uh, the legal document goes in favor of the client only because they have a right to reject they can use our creative in futures they take all this uh, uh, content with with us in the, in, a, in the starting itself but we also take they are concerned that they will not going to share our uh, creatives with any other events which they also honor they they don't do that they mention how they can award the contract and and evaluation criteria on what base they will give you the marking in the numbers it's just like a your uh, uh, school time exams they will each and every subject you will get a number and here also each and every your proposal pitch creative design estimation uh, eligibility will give you they will they will give you a number the the agency who get a maximum number is get the event here you can see they take the vendor certification client certifications please it's this original it has to be going at uh, two copy originals one client will take and one even management keep now these days it goes online so most of the the company corporates has the um, sap and ariba softwares which on through that they will take the bidding if they award you for the bidding to so they want that you read all this definition scope of work and how to submit the invoice what way you can do that it is mentioned over here so you can see the scope of work of the event start over here which because how the project management mobile van campaign mall promotion getting a sponsorship for their exhibition and their events it's also part of the rfq handling their end to end conference and seminar channel meet product launches employee days award ceremonies which is having a branding database management response management to feedback form the post analysis it is all has to be you have to submit with the creatives and with the with the ability to execute that including transportation stage audio visuals five star caterer to private caterers celebrity because they usually call uh, in the most of the event the celebrity performances to so the all the contract need to be signed by the event management agency and need to be shared with the client as on various basis venue branding they have a logo guideline they have a venue branding guideline which we need to follow and the most important payment and invoices when we can submit the invoice after event within 7 days we need to submit post event we need to submit the invoice to the client if the invoice is with a proper with all documentation and legal formalities they take 45 days time minimum to release the payment if they found there any mistake or any detail is missing in the invoice they will send it back and we need to resubmit the invoice and this will go again to the 45 days channel so we this is the process is keep going on so this is the biggest 
with documentation which I uh, shared with you. And uh, now I'll show you the which way we give them a costing. So this is the sample of RFQ, which is we give them a costing in a road shows in multiple city how we can handle. It's a very small one, but I'll show you the how they float with the multinational countries and uh, with the multi countries. Sorry, how this float with the multi countries. I mean, so here you can see the it's in the first page they have given the instruction how they do what is they do. And uh, exchange rate also you can see they have shared with us okay, this is the rate and you have to when you are giving a submission you must calculate your your local currency according to that rate. So let me take you to India. If India basically we have to do so we have submitted in 2007 if we do high end event so this much will be the cost low activity what include in that trade show we do what will do that if the less than 50 people or 100 people attendees mega event blah blah blah. To be honest, it's it is all confidential information which I am sharing with you. It's on a per hour per day basis, which we convert into a dollar, and client will judge it on the basis of the costing. So hope you have seen the uh, most of the videos we uh, presentation reading document over here. So hope you got a little knowledge about what is the bidding how we can make a successful bidding and how the bidding document look like. And as I mentioned that you have to spend time when you are participating in any bidding. Best of luck for your future. Thank you.